In this video, we are going to talk about one of the important techniques is called permutation. So permutation is when the order of the object is important. Let's take a look at the formula. The number of ways to arrange n distinct object in R ways. There are four ways to write permutation. My favorite way is why I write a P. P stands for permutation. N is the total number of objects and you want to arrange uh, n are uh, distinct objects in R way. So this is called permutation n select R. So n or m permute R. n permute or select. So what is do I mean by order is important? So order is important. So let me explain this to you. Let's say I have a small family. A stands for my dad and then B stands for my mom, C stands for me and we want to line up to take a picture. So uh, let's say I, I can switch the, the, the position and then keep taking new pictures. How many pictures can I take if I, I allow my family member to switch position? So the ABC would be the first picture, right? It can be dad, me, and mom, right? So what if mom goes first? And that can be dad and me. Mom goes first, me, and then my dad. And then it can be me go first and then my dad my mom me go first my mom and then my dad right how many so there are six right so the total is equals to six so using the permutation formula here is how we do it so permutation i have three family members in total and then i want to arrange three members in a picture so using the factorial that equals to n factorial this is n this is r 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 3 factorial. So we have 3 factorial divided by 0 factorial. Don't panic, 0 factorial is 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. That is 6 divided by 1, which is equals to 6. So this is how we get the 6 using the permutation formula. On the left hand side, I use the counting techniques to count the 6. The counting technique works for small problem only. So if you have 10 people in your family, the first technique will be extremely painful and difficult. All right. So how do you do this in a calculator? I have two screenshots. The first one is for the older calculator. The second one is for a newer calculator. So the way that you will have to go is, so let me bring my calculator up. All right, um, so three per mu three. So here is how we do it. We have to go to math probability and then n per mu r, right? So we, I type the first number first, n, so n is three. And then you go to math and then you go to probability and then you uh, select which one? You select the second one, right? NPR, do you see that? NPR. So select the second one and then you type the three. And there you go. So that will be a six. So what if you have uh, seven people in your family and you want to uh, have three uh, family members in a picture? So that will be, you type the seven first and then you go to math and then you go to probability, you go to permutation, you permute three, right? There you go, 210. And then, uh, so that is equals to 210. So for the old, old uh, for the newer calculator, they will give you two spots. So you can do the M, choose NPR first, and then you put those two numbers in. So I don't know which calculator you have. Uh, you pick the one that applies to your calculator. So let's take a look at this problem. A happy family has eight members. They are trying to stand into one line to take a family portrait in order the, if the order of standing is important, how many pictures can be taken? So this is permutation. There are eight people. They want to put eight people in, in the picture, right? So that will be eight factorial divided by eight minus eight factorial. So that will be eight factorial divided by zero factorial. Zero factorial is equals to one. So that will be eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one divided by one. So I will pass the job to my calculator, A, math, probability, P, and then um, choose A. 
so that is a 43 to zero okay i i want to do a what if there are eight people right who is holding the camera let's say one of the members has to hold the camera let's make this more fun eight people in in a family one person has to take the camera how many pictures can be taken so that will be p eight and then select seven so one people has to hold on to the camera so uh, if you want to do a, a shortcut so here is how you do it do you see there is an entry right above the enter key you hit second enter you see the previous come previous expression pops out right so you choose the eight to a seven oh um i don't know how that works in this calculator because um okay i will just uh okay uh before i do that so you can choose second enter you see the previous command pops out right so use the left arrow put the cursor on the eight and then just type a seven so uh, once you press the seven the seven overrides the eight and then you press enter so that is how you get the permutation done without going back to the math and then go to the probability so we go to math i i have to go go there math probability eight two seven so that will be 43 to zero all right so moving on to the last one so we have a math department over three positions a math professor a stats professor and a lecturer they have 23 candidates so each candidate can do any position so but having me as a math professor is not the same as having me as a stats professor so that means the order is important then this is a permutation problem so since that is a permutation problem we have to do a permutation we have 23 candidates and we have three positions so let's uh, expand this so 23 factorial divided by 23 minus 3 factorial so that is a 23 factorial divided by 20 factorial so that is equal to so i'm going to take the advantage of this look 23 22 21 and 20 i stop there to use the factorial i don't want to keep writing the rest and then divided by 20 factorial right and then you cancel these two so the answer is 23 times 22 times 21 that is equal to this so that is your answer so let's take a look at using the function the permutation function in a calculator we type 23 and then we go to math probability number two p and p r and then we choose let's choose sorry we select three so that is another way to get the answer now you might notice that hey that is similar to the multiplication rule right so look we have three positions right i don't care which one comes first for the first position again i don't care what it is you have 23 candidates so you have three seats in in your office you have 23 candidates outside of your office so the first seat you have 23 people outside right so you have 23 options so one person will come in and then take that seat when it comes to the second seat there are only 22 people outside and then the next seat 21 people right so once you multiply them that is equals to 10626 this is using multiplication principle so that means when you apply multiplication principle you are doing permutation that means when you consider multiplication principle you are saying that the order is important all right so that will be the end of permutation i will see you all in the next counting technique which is combination if you think my lecture is helpful please like subscribe share i appreciate your help really really much signing out for now see you in the next one